If you are new, welcome. If not, welcome back. I'm gonna show you how to connect your DJI Mini 2 remote to your DJI Mini 2 drone. Let's get into it. Physical controls on the remote, turn on drone, press this button, press and hold, you should hear a sound like this. Once it's on, press this button for four seconds. You will hear a loud noise and then the propellers will spin. That means that it's in pairing mode. For the remote, press and hold. Find this button on the top left that says FN. Find this button that looks like a little toggle switch. And then press the shutter button. Press and hold these all at the same time. You'll hear this long beep. And then your drone will make this loud grinding noise again, and it will be connected as you can see here. I have a visual line of sight right now with this device. Now without the phone, I won't be able to go up, go that way without crashing. The second way is going to be through the DJI Fly app. The DJI Fly app QR code, you can scan this and it will bring you to the actual DJI Fly app website to download the APK. This app will take about 330 0.6 megabytes of your storage. Now we're gonna click on the APK, staging app, yes, install, hit open. Now it will ask you to agree to the terms of use. I am not reading that. It will ask you for your phone permissions, such as your photo and location, set all. This will pop up depending on what kind of Android or iOS operating system you have. Now right here we have information authorization. If you'd like to pause this and read all of these, go for it. DJI product improvement project and then you will be brought to this page new user guide I'm going to skip this or you could actually hit start and watch go down to connection guide Select your aircraft. It's not already connected take out and install the control sticks okay, So the control sticks should come with a drone and they should also be right down here So you can pull these out if you don't have any install the stick here and also over here make sure it's tight you don't want to lose these short press the controller power button and then press it again press and hold your device is now on there are a few advantages of using the app instead of the remote controller the remote controller just gives you the basic functions without a full visual line of sight now when you're on the app you have the advantage of line of sight you can change the color safety features and all that and you can also calibrate your drone as well i would not recommend flying your drone without the remote controller and the app itself. Now I'm gonna show you how to calibrate your drone so that way you don't lose your drone. Now I am not responsible if you do lose your drone after you calibrate it. We're gonna go up into safety right here. Hit compass, normal, tap calibrate. Keep clear of metal objects with an electrical charge and ensure the distance between the aircraft and the ground is 1.5 meters. Gonna hit start. Okay, rotate the aircraft 360 degrees horizontally. Now vertically. Oh, like this. Okay, so just spin it around like this. Calibration successful. Tap RC calibration. And power off aircraft. Ensure the control sticks are centered before pressing start. They are now centered. We're going to test the left control stick and then the right one. Push the control sticks and rotate the dial to their maximum range several times in all directions. You got this cal- There we go. Calibration successful. We're gonna view some footage that I've been taking over the last few months. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.